Alrighty, week 13 of the NFL season, I know. Somehow we've made it to December, somehow we've made it to where things have changed. The early season narratives are now going away, and things are getting a little bit more crazy, as um, Mike McCarthy won't be coaching the Cowboys tonight, because he's got COVID, and Taysom Hill might be starting for the Saints. In fact, I think they confirmed that he'll be starting for the Saints tonight. So, yeah. Things are going to get a little bit crazy because the Saints are battling, you know, through all these injuries and stuff like that. Like Alvin Kamara's been injured. We know that James Winston tore his ACL and stuff like that. You know, just injuries all around. And the Cowboys have been battling COVID, you know, and injuries themselves the past few weeks. But mostly COVID, you know. Um, Amari Cooper should be back for this game tonight, so we'll see how that goes. Um, going to be an interesting one because the Saints are trying to stay in the race for the playoffs, and technically, uh, there's a team that's, you know, not, you know, I didn't expect them to be the number seven seed currently, but here they are, and we'll talk about them as we get to the later games on Sunday. But we get into Sunday, you know, after Thursday night. It's going to be an interesting Thursday night there. One of the few Thursday night games of the year that I actually try and watch. Because, of course, the Cowboys are involved. Um, but the Colts and the Texans kick off Sunday. You know, Colts had a difficult loss last week. Texans, you know, just had a bad season. They've had a bad season throughout the entire year. Um, that one's going to be interesting. The Vikings and the Lions also going to be interesting. And the Lions finally get a win. And this is the Vikings, by the way, so I'm expecting Kirk Cousins and company to blow this somehow. Like, it, it, they shouldn't because, you know, you have Adam Thielen and, and Justin Jefferson on, on this roster, you know. But this is the Vikings we're talking about here. We'll see. Um, Dan, Daniel Jones has been battling through something. I'm not sure what it was. I think it was like a concussion or something like that. So he might not play against the Dolphins or you know, I think it was like something with his neck. Actually, I think it was like a strained neck. I have no idea. And Tua and the, and, the, and the Dolphins are playing much better football now. So this one, this one's pretty intriguing for both teams because both teams are fighting, you know, also for playoff positioning right now. Um, the Bucks. The last time we saw the Bucks take on the Falcons, it was not. It, it wasn't pretty. I don't think. I, I think these two teams played earlier in the season, and it did not go too well. Yeah, it did not. It did not go too well. I remember this exactly because, I mean, the Bucks whooped on the Falcons earlier in the season. I'm expecting the same thing to happen again. Um, you know, it's been a rough season for the Falcons, you know. They, they, they're they pretty inconsistent too, but, I mean, it's the same type of inconsistencies that it's been, you know, similar to the Vikings. Um, Eagles, they really have the opportunity to get in the NFC East race, I know. They really have the opportunity to get to a point to where they can, you know, get themselves in damn good position. Um, they're five and seven right now, but they lost last week to the Giants, in which they shouldn't have lost this game. You know, things are going to get tougher from here on out for the Eagles. You know, it's not a it's not a cakewalk to get to where you need to be with just six weeks to go in the regular season. So. Um, you know, Jalen Hurts and crew, y'all got to step it up. Y'all want the NFC East, y'all got to win these games. And, you know, losing last week was not a part of the plan. You know, you want to catch up to Dallas, you you're going to have to win these games. You know. Um, the Cards are taking on the Bears. I mean, it is what it is. I'm not sure, you know, um, how, how things are going. Uh, I think Kylo Murray should be back this Sunday, if I'm not mistaken. A lot of people are saying he might be back on Sunday, so we'll see. Um, the Bears, they're not that great of a team. We know this. They, the, I mean, the, I mean, I, I, I just don't know at this point with the Bears. So I mean, I, I keep, I keep trying to find a way to talk about the Bears, and yet nothing comes to me. Just like the Bears' offense, nothing's coming. Big one here in, in this early window on Sunday is going to be the Chargers taking on the Bengals. Chargers have had a little bit of a slide lately. The Bengals, you know, with Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, and Joe Mixon, I mean, this 
dynamic trio for the Bengals, just putting in work. They're putting in a lot of work. The Chargers, you know, under Justin Herbert and company, they're they're kind of regressing a little bit. You know, they still got Derwin James, you know, and stuff like that out there. You know, I mean, but I mean, this 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 is a um, this could be interesting. You know, I mean, the Bengals defense, you know, at times it hasn't always been there, but you know. If Justin Herbert decides to, you know, pick apart this Bengals defense, we're gonna have a doozy. We're gonna have a doozy because we know the Bengals can put up points. We know the Bengals can score. We know the Bengals can put up good drives, make good things happen. You know. Then we get to the later games on Sunday. Really, there's only one to watch, and that's the Ravens and the Steelers. How are the Ravens going to, you know, continue their winning ways after what happened on Sunday night? Steelers are. They they're free falling. They're free falling right now because they've got they they've got a lot of things going wrong with them as well. You know, um, I mean, it's just it's just been it's just been a weird season. You know, that I mean I mean this this just I just don't know. I just don't know what's wrong with the Steelers. Like they're they're five five and one. Remember, they got that tie against the Lions, and I mean they just haven't looked like a team that. They said they were going to be, you know, like Big Ben. He's just not doing it anymore. It's, it's just not doing it for me, <laughs> you know. Um, and this O line has been difficult. We know this defense has been difficult. We know the wide receivers have been difficult at times. I mean, it's just been a, it's just been a weird season for the Steelers, you know. And I'm expecting the Ravens to take care of business here, in all honesty. That's what I'm expecting. But I could be wrong, because I'm always wrong when it comes to actual predictions, you know. Uh, there's three other games in this window, but really only one of them matters. Of course, the 49ers taking on the Seahawks. 49ers, you know, trying to, you know, keep themselves above 500. And um, Seahawks, they're, they're, basically their season is pretty much over, like... I, I just do not want to talk about the Seahawks team anymore. It's rough to talk about them, in all honesty. Like Pete Carroll and crew, y'all, y'all gotta get it. To, you, know, you might as well just get ready to start tanking. Get ready to start tanking for draft position. I'm not sure what the Seahawks draft pick is right now, but it's time to start tanking. I know the Jags are gonna start tanking because they're taking on the Rams. This should be it. Should be an easy comeback game for the Rams, but you never know. You know, if the Bills can get beat by the Jags, then so can the Rams. Because, I mean, the Rams got all these playmakers, and they're just not doing it. They're just not winning these games. They're, what, 0-3 in the last three games? They need to get back on the winning side here. They got to catch up to the Cards. They got to catch up to the Cardinals right now, and, they, and they're not. They're just not doing it. You know, if Urban Meyer can dismiss the college, you know, coaching rumors, then the Rams can just dismiss the Jags and put them... You know, put them out the pasture, get a W, and get on up out of you know, get on up out of here with a W. You know, the real key game here early in, in this um, late window is a 3:05 start. You know, one of the 3:05 starts between the Washington Football Team, who is currently the seventh seed, um, based on the updated projected playoff picture, and the Raiders. That's gonna be this is gonna be a really interesting game because we know Washington's defense. Is a pretty good defense. It's just their offense isn't that good, um, and we know the Raiders. They're they're an inconsistent team as well. But you get but they got that key victory over Dallas on Thanksgiving. So you know that that really helped them. If they didn't get that victory, I, I would have been I would have been chastising them. I, I really I really would have because I mean they needed that. They needed that victory. You know, defense was pretty inconsistent. They, they they've been they've been okay. But at times, but at other times, it's just like nah. This, you know, this, this is a Raiders team that has to battle through, you know, a lot of things. You know, they got they got a talented roster. You know, they got a talented wide receiver, you know, core with with Darren Waller and Hunter Renfro. You know, Derek Carr throwing to those guys. But if Washington can keep those guys contained. You know, I'm not sure if Waller got in. I think Waller got injured at one point last week, so I'm not sure. I'm uh, probably wrong about you know him playing. So uh, I, I don't keep up with all the injuries. Like there's so many injuries <laughs> throughout the week and stuff like that. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, it's gonna be an intriguing one to pair alongside. You know, 
if the Raider, if the Raven Steelers go bad. Because, because here's the thing: AFC North matchups have either been have either been pretty damn ugly to watch this year, or you know blowouts. You know, ugly, disgusting type games or blowouts. So I don't know what kind of AFC North game we're gonna get for the Ravens and the Steelers. So pair that Washington Raiders game alongside it, okay? And the Broncos taking on the Chiefs on Sunday night, uh, which is very surprising, you know, because, you know, you got Teddy Bridgewater and this Broncos team, you know, they shut down the Chargers last week with the defense, and, you know, Chiefs, we know the Chiefs have been struggling. We know they've been struggling throughout the entire season. You know, they've gotten key victories when it mattered, but, you know, under Patrick Mahomes and crew, you know, Andy Reid's got to figure something out. they got to figure a way to get back to the Chiefs of, uh, you know, last year and the year before that when they were looking dominant, when they were looking like the best team in the NFL. And it's just not that way right now. But the big one is going to be actually Monday night. I know, right? Somehow Monday night football got the best matchup out of all the, out of all the matchups they could get. They, they got the one that's probably going to be one of the best of the season, you know. Probably going to be for the division lead for the moment as the Patriots take on the Buffalo Bills. Oh boy, Tr Travis White, he's done for the year I know of. Um, you know, you got this Patriots defense, J.C. Jackson, um, Matthew Judon. I mean, this this is huge, huge game. You know, there's also some COVID um, issues with both teams. There's COVID issues everywhere in the NFL, as we know. And it's going to be an interesting QB battle between Mac Jones and Josh Allen. I cannot wait for this matchup. It's going to be one hell of a Monday night to cap off Week 13. And I'm, I'm excited, you know. I'm excited for this week because, I mean, matchups have been spread, you know, once again throughout the week. And it just makes for perfect football, you know, to pair off with, you know, how things have been going. So... What, what are your thoughts on week 13? What are y'all thinking? You know, because, I mean, there's a lot of things, you know, that's going to happen. That's going to factor in into week 13. And, you know, a lot of the playoffs are heating up. You know, they're heating up. Again, you know, there's a lot of division battles that could be decided, you know, in this in this month. You know, and things are tight. Things are tight in a lot of these divisions right now, especially in the AFC, which is looking like a stacked you know, it's looking more stacked than the NFC. The NFC is a dog fights, but I mean the ASC just has you know teams with better records right now. You know, honestly, but we'll see. We will see how everything goes in Week 13. But with that being said, I'm gonna get on out of here and skedaddle. And I hope y'all enjoy y'all's Thursday. It's a Friday, and all the way through the weekend. Take care, everybody. <laughs>